fidgeting. What is the matter with you? I, I, I thought I could handle being here, but it's, 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 it's just too much. Oh, I'm having post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> this is my nom, man. Mrs. Walker, Principal Daly's ready to see you now. All right, this shouldn't take long. He'll tell me the fat one set something on fire. I'll buy him a new science wing and bibbidi bobbidi boop Everybody's happy. Karen, don't leave me alone yeah, here. see you soon, McFairyland. I, I, I can't do this. Uh... Give me my backpack. I don't have it. Come on, give it. Come on, please. No. This one's better for you. You can put your makeup in it. Hey, hey, hey. Give him his backpack. The purse is mine. <laughs> This macho bully schoolyard crap is so 1983, I could vomit. <laughs> now, scram! <laughs> What's with that hair? You know, you didn't have to do that. I take care of myself. Oh, I'm sure. I just don't like anybody playing with my purse. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack. I'm John. Nice to meet you, John. So, um, what was that all about? Todd and Curtis don't like me. Yeah, well, let me tell you a little something about Todd and Curtis, okay? When they grow up, they're gonna be bloated has-beens with bad shoes and bad marriages. <laughs> Does that help you? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they're still gonna try to take my backpack. Okay, in that case, pull hair, kick them any place that's soft, and run like hell. <laughs> I just wish I was better at dodgeball. And this never would have happened. Dodgeball? Who cares about dodgeball? You ever see that on a resume? Special skills dodgeball? It's about as useful as American history. Besides, there's got to be other things you're good at, right? Well, I just wrote a play for drama class. You're a playwright? I'm a playwright. I wrote a one-man show. Shut up, I wrote a one-man show. <laughs> What's it about? I guess it's about me. Well, it doesn't have a title yet. Well, I was thinking maybe John's life, or John's play, or maybe only John. <laughs> Ever thought about just John? <laughs> just John? No, it's more. No jazz hands, it's just John. Just John. Well, it's more from here and there's a pop. It's just John. Just John. Yes. Fabulous. I I've been holding on to these fears since I was like eight years old, you know? And it's just like Dr. Schlemonson says, Jackie, he calls me Jackie, which I hate, but I'm not getting into that with you. Hello, you're like 10. <laughs> Jackie, you must meet your demons head on. And today, I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Man, I feel good. How are you? <laughs> okay, but I think I'm gonna get to my flute lesson. Call so me I... down to this godforsaken place and tell me my kids made the honor roll. <laughs> Honey, my time is precious. Call me when one of them gives birth at the prom. <laughs> looking at your shoes mm. they're good right <laughs> listen Jack all this maternal crap is making me thirsty let's go to the palm for a couple of martinis you coming <laughs> um no I'm gonna be late for my lesson suit yourself but you'll learn a lot more over martinis at the palm <laughs> hey Jack Thanks for your help. Same here. <laughs> Don't you think the tree is tea aki? <laughs> she should have gone monochromatic. E X Ackley. <laughs> yeah, you want to pick your spots with that. <laughs> Jack, I want to put on a Christmas show tonight. Will you help me? 
I'd be delighted. <laughs> See, now that's where that works. Hey, Jordy, I was just on the phone with your grandpa, George. He wishes he was here, but he's with his girlfriend. He's helping Santa. <laughs> hey, Will, help us with Jordy's Christmas show. A Christmas show? No, no, no. No, uh, Jordy, that's, that's a bad idea. Grandma doesn't really like Christmas shows. Really? But I've been planning it for months. Uh, I know, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just, it makes her uncomfortable. You know, she'd, she'd rather see little boys playing in the snow than, than singing in the rain. <laughs> Jordy, take five. Have a smoke and a carrot stick. Your aunts need to talk shop. <laughs> What's going on here? I don't remember driving into the town from Footloose. Let the boy dance. I know my mother. You have no idea how many of my little plays she ruined. Talking and, and fidgeting and, and doing anything to distract the family from watching her gay son do fan kicks in the beanbag chair. You poor thing. No! Let the boy dance! I just don't want to see Jordy humiliated like I was. I used to be so upset, I'd, I'd spend the rest of the night scarfing down butter cookies and pretending that the crinkling of the wrappers was, was uh, applause. I, I had no idea. No! Oh, boy, dance! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jordy St. James. <gasps> That's a stage name. I had to nix Dame Jordy Dench. <laughs> Santa Claus, Mr. Santa Claus, I get the kids applause, Mr. Santa Claus. That boy is the next Claus. Wayne Newton. <laughs> How many Blue Marylands have you had? Will, shush. You shush. Will, you shush. Will, you shush. <laughs> this is Jordy's moment. And keyboard solo. Jordy, you're in the audience for the sweetheart. <laughs> Skip, what church song are you gonna sing? It's not that kind of concert. It's a talent show, and the song I'm doing is a secret. But you're going to love it. Who am I kidding? I have to tell you, I'm doing Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. <laughs> That's great. That's so great. <laughs> That's a great song. To sing in Texas. <laughs> It's so exciting. Say, tell me, is there an exit from the backstage area to the street in case of an emergency? Hi. Is this where the talent show is? You are in the right place. The last boy is singing now. The sensitive one with the fancy haircut. We'll start the car. Yeah, we, we took a lift, and I cannot let you... Start the lift! recognize that sound because it's applause. <laughs> Jack, open your eyes. They love him. They do? They do. <laughs> they do. That's my grandson! He's related to me! Skip, I've been a terrible grandpa. I came here to actually stop you from performing. Well, why would you want to stop me? Because I... I thought they wouldn't accept you as you are. I just assumed they'd be homophobic. But it turns out I was texophobic. Intolerance comes in many forms. I'm having a private conversation with my grandson here. Why are you still on the mic? Because it's a teachable moment, Pastor. Thank you. Go in peace. Skip. It's important to see people for who they are, not for who you expect them to be. A powerful notion everyone heard, because I'm on the mic. <laughs> Please, don't let anyone ever talk you out of being you. Even if it's you? Even if it's me. 
Although, Maryland did have cleaner lines and a stronger turnout. <laughs> but we got time for that. Karen, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm worried. My hair's never looked better, but am I a good dad? <laughs> I mean, I want so badly for him to like me, but I can't tell if he does. Well, honey, you know if you want people to like you, you have to buy them things. <laughs> Karen, that is so superficial. Honey, why do you like me? What do you think I should get him? <laughs> well, school's starting soon. How about a nice flask or a pencil box with a false bottom? <laughs> no, something he needs. Like back to school clothes. Ooh. I wonder what the kids are wearing these days. Probably not leg warmers and jazz pants like when I was a kid. <laughs> Now feel free to pick out whatever you need for school supplies. Moisturizers, hair gels, body glitter, all your seventh grade essentials. Well, uh, maybe I should just get some pants. Great! Who do you like? Gucci, Pucci, Fiorucci, Stanley Tucci, Hoochie Gucci. <laughs> and that is too good for my boy. Uh, I kind of like baggy shorts. <laughs> what else do you like? Do they have any hockey jerseys? <laughs> Dear Lord, I know I was brought into this boy's life for a reason. P.S. Give me a sign if you think I should get some highlights. <laughs> Elliot, what do you think? I don't know, Jack. Well, I do. It's the perfect outfit for the first day at school. So get out of here and let me see what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> Haley, Joel Osment, you look fantastic! <laughs> Do you really think so? Well, yeah, the kids at your school would kill for this look. That's what I'm afraid of. I will be killed. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like it? I look like Rookie Martin. So you do like it. <laughs> oh, that's a bad thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that's all right. If you don't like it, we can get something else. Go change. Okay. I just think wearing leather pants to pee would be a mistake. <laughs> then. Then why did you say you liked it when I picked it up for you? Well, you seem so excited about them, and... What? I just wanted you to like me. Well, you don't have to get these clothes for me to like you, Elliot. I do like you. We're, we're good. We are? Yeah. You know, besides, I'm your father. I may need a kidney one day. <laughs> I guess this is where I give you a little hit on the shoulder. <laughs> Remind me to teach you how to hit like a girl. <laughs> Come on, let's go get some clothes somewhere else. Where do you want to go? Uh, there's a Target near my house. Great, let's go there. Yeah, it's right next to the place where my mom gets her highlights. <laughs> Jack was Lady Gaga for Halloween, too. Oh, fun. All right, well, we need to go. You don't want to be late for the first day camp. Yeah, it was really nice meeting all y'all. Could I say goodbye to Jack and Will? Quick, all right? We'll be down in the lobby. Jack? Elliot? I wish I could stay. I know, me too. Maybe we should uh, get skipped to the elevator. Huh? Okay, yeah. Hey, what's the name of that camp so I can write you? Camp Straight and Arrow. Oh. Straight and Arrow? Is that a new theater camp? I never heard of it. No, it's a camp my parents found to fix me. Fix you? So I can be normal. Bye. This place can't fix you because you're not broken. I'm confused. Of course you're confused. So, let me tell you a story about another young man who was once confused. A young man who grew up to be a model citizen and today is proud of who and what he is. People adore this man. <laughs> Not only because of his good looks and dynamic personality, but because of his open, loving heart. Will? No, not Will! <laughs> Will's a fat lawyer! <laughs> Why does that guy make an impression on everyone? <laughs> I'm talking about me. 
It was hard for me once too, but believe me, it gets better. I don't see how. Ugh, Skip, you are gonna be invited to so many good dinner parties. <laughs> and there's something else. When you get older, you'll understand that there's the family you were born into and the family that you choose. And the family I chose, well, it doesn't get any better than that. But what do I do now? I don't know. Your hero, Will, didn't really think this through. <laughs> You're just gonna have to be really strong. It's hard being me sometimes. I know, but I'm gonna be there for you as much as I can. And when I'm not, I want you to picture me in your head looking at you like I am right now and saying you are exactly who you're supposed to be.